Huawei has taken a significant leap forward by launching its first laptops powered by Harmony OS, marking a pivotal moment in its quest to break away from Western technology dependencies. The MateBook Pro and the foldable MateBook Fold Ultimate design are the first personal computers from Huawei to ship without Microsoft Windows or Apple's Mac OS. This launch represents a complete reset for the company, as it continues to navigate the challenges posed by U.S. sanctions that restrict access to critical technology from companies like Intel, Microsoft, and Qualcomm. Since 2019, Huawei has been embroiled in a standoff with the U.S. government, which has led to significant restrictions on its access to Western technology. Earlier this year, Huawei's Windows license expired, serving as the final push for the company to fully embrace its own operating system. Harmony OS, which has been in development since 2018, is now at the heart of Huawei's strategy to control both its software and hardware. The Harmony laptop gives the world a new choice, said Yu Chengdong, head of Huawei's consumer business group during a live-streamed launch. The MateBook Fold is designed for high-end users, featuring an 18-inch OLED double screen that folds out into a large display, eliminating the need for a physical keyboard. Priced at 23,999 yuan, or about $3,328, it targets premium consumers. Meanwhile, the MateBook Pro offers a traditional clamshell design with a keyboard, starting at 7,999 yuan, or roughly 1,100. Both laptops are powered by Harmony OS 5 and utilize Huawei's Arc Engine for enhanced graphics and a smoother user interface. While the specific chip inside these devices hasn't been confirmed, speculation points to Huawei's own Kirin X90 processor. Harmony OS 5, also known as Harmony OS Next, is designed to seamlessly integrate Huawei devices. It is powered by the Kirin X90, a 10-core chip developed by Huawei, marking a departure from reliance on AMD and Intel. The operating system is built on Huawei's own kernel and security architecture, aiming to connect phones, laptops, tablets, TVs, and more into a unified ecosystem. Key features include the AI assistant Celia, cross-device functionality, and a growing catalog of native apps. With over 150 apps available at launch and more than 20,000 on App Gallery, Huawei is building a robust ecosystem. For years, China has excelled in hardware manufacturing but lagged in operating systems, with Windows and Mac OS dominating the global PC market. Harmony OS represents Huawei's attempt to close this gap and capitalize on the increasing domestic demand for alternatives to US technology. With Harmony OS installed on over 1 billion devices, including smartphones, TVs, and IoT equipment, adding laptops to the mix strengthens Huawei's position. In a country with over a billion people, a strong domestic OS alternative presents a vast market opportunity, even if global adoption remains slow. Convincing users outside China to adopt Harmony OS presents a significant challenge. The lack of compatibility with Windows applications and the inability to sideload apps limit its appeal to developers and power users. Additionally, Huawei's brand continues to face scrutiny in markets like the US where national security concerns persist. Despite these challenges, Huawei appears focused on solidifying its presence in its home market, which could be a substantial victory given China's massive population and growing tech ecosystem. With Harmony OS now on phones, TVs, and laptops, Huawei is closing the loop on its software independence. This move challenges the dominance of Windows and Mac OS, signaling that Huawei is not merely reacting to sanctions, but is striving to outgrow them. While obstacles remain, such as developer adoption and global trust, Huawei is committed to playing the long game. The question now is whether users outside China will give Harmony OS a chance.